Hi, I'm Mitch Gross from Convergent Design. I'm here at Sony today to show you this very powerful and nifty kit they've put together. It's a great shooting package. To get into the heart of it real quick, here are the main parts, the FS700 camera. And on the front, you see an 18 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. And this lens is a motorized zoom so that when I flip the little uh, rocker on the uh, hand grip that's included with the camera, you see it zooms in and out. You have a very smooth, controlled zoom. It's all integrated, and you'll see the whole kit is very well integrated together. Strapped onto the back here is the Convergent Design Odyssey 7Q monitor recorder. Now, it's stuck on the back here at the moment, but you can position it in lots of different ways, and I'll show you that in a moment. And holding everything together are some accessories from Vocus. Here's a base plate with an integrated shoulder pad, some front rods, back rods, a uh, rod adapter for the hand grip that articulates so you can really position the hand grip wherever is comfortable for you, as well as this rod mount adapter with uh, this uh, adjustable uh, integrated arm so that you can position the Odyssey however you might like. It's stuck way in the back right now, but you could take this rod adapter and put it onto the front rods, and then you could maybe stick it right about here and be a nice viewfinder setup, or you could stick the monitor up top and really position it any which way you like. Because you can see the idea behind this system is you can just throw it on your shoulder and away you go. Now, that makes for a nice, convenient, comfortable shooting package. It's very well balanced, very lightweight on my shoulder as well. Now, of course, I don't have a viewfinder here at the moment. You might be someone who likes to add a separate viewfinder that is specifically just as a viewfinder, or you can take that Odyssey, put the, on the rods here, and have it right up here in front of you so you can be a very comfortable viewing and interface with the camera. And it just pops right on and off of a standard V-lock style mounting plate on your tripod. So quick to go on and off your shoulder, shoot however you like. Let's get into not just how complete the package is, but how powerful it is. The FS700 is an HD camera. Uh, it, as an HD camera, it's a nice camera, but it has limitations when you just think of it that way. Yes, you can record HD to its internal cards, or you can output it out the back onto a separate recorder. But that's an 8-bit video signal. The architecture of the camera in video mode is 8-bit, uh, and the recording internally is a compressed recording, a highly compressed recording, so you can get a lot of information on a tiny little card. However, that is not the full capability of the camera. Because I could, sure, I could take the HD signal 8-bit out of the back of the camera and go into a separate recorder like the Odyssey 7Q, or I could switch the camera into raw data mode. This is a 2K or 4K raw camera. Now in 4K raw, I can take that signal coming out of the camera up to 60 frames a second. I can go into the Odyssey 7Q and we have a number of solutions at that point, number of options to us. The Odyssey 7Q can take that signal and record it as raw data at 60 frames a second, 4K information. So that's really, really rich files. If I want to do color correction, if I want to do post, if I'm going for a theatrical release, something with a large screen, if I just have clients who want 4K material, I can deliver that with this setup. No problem, it integrates right to the Odyssey 7Q. I also could take that 4K signal and I can transform it in the Odyssey 7Q, just flip a switch on it. Now I'm gonna turn it into a video signal. So I take that 4K raw, I turn it into 4K video, so it's deburying the signal and turn it into a normal kind of picture. And then I'm gonna super sample it down to a really, really high quality HD video signal that I then record in Apple ProRes 422 HQ. That is a really rich video standard at that point. Now you're talking about a 10-bit signal. It has a much uh, uh, lower compression rate, so it's a much thicker signal. Uh, you have a lot of information, and it's something easily dump into any edit system, and you can really work with it very, very efficiently. So I take by taking that 4K raw signal and turning it into a really high quality HD signal, you've just vastly expanded the power of this camera, even as a traditional HD camera, if you will. I also will soon be able to have another mode on this, and this will be a free firmware upgrade as soon as it, we get it done, uh, that you'll be able to take the 4K raw data and turn it into 4K video, and then record that in a standard compressed format. So now if you have a 4K deliverable, but you don't uh, need to be working in RAW, or maybe you don't have the time for that turnaround or whatever that might be, you'll be able to deliver to your clients 4K uh, information, 4K video that is a very, very high quality signal. 
But that's not all that this camera can do, in this complete setup. It's very powerful just like that, but this camera is also capable of high frame rates, up to 240 frames a second. So in the HD mode, you can get the 240 frames a second. You can get some slower spe speeds, if you will, but it has to record to a small data buffer inside the camera. Just, just a, it shoots at high frame rates into a little memory. You only have a few seconds worth, and then it plays it out into the camera's uh, little onboard card or onto the, you know, a separate recorder. But then you're stuck with HD compression, you're, you're stuck with that 8-bit data rate, and you're also uh, limited to that record time. You only have a few seconds of, of recording. But if I switch this camera into the raw data mode, at 240 frames a second, I can shoot, uh, I, I would switch it into 2K video, or 2K data, that is, raw data, 2K, to the Odyssey 7Q, and it's continuous, as long as I want to shoot at 240 frames a second until I run out of memory. Now, the Odyssey 7Q comes with two of our 256 gig drives. You can always get more if you want. We have larger drives as well. But it's going to come with these in the kit, and 256 drives times two will give you, at 240 frames a second, the highest frame rate you can choose, that'll give you 10 minutes of, of continuous record time. If you were at 120 frames a second, you would get 20 minutes of record time. It might not sound like a lot at first, but think about playing that back at 24 frames a second. That's 100 minutes of material. That's a lot of data, a lot of material that you have to shoot with. And it's in 2K RAW, so it's a really rich di uh, data signal. You do have other capabilities opened up to you because you are shooting with RAW. You have now unlocked the full power of the sensor and processing available in the camera. So it's 14 and a half stops of dynamic range. The native sensitivity of the camera in RAW mode is 2000 ISO. So all of that is captured in this complete system. Make, the Odyssey makes the camera really sort of unleashes it, really expands that capability. I can always take the Odyssey, I can stick it back here if I just want to use it as a separate recorder, but let's not forget that it is a very high quality full-fledged monitor. So if I just put my hand here so you have something to look at, uh, you can see we have a false color mode, so you can judge exposure. You also have traditional zebras, and here's a waveform monitor, here's a histogram. We have a focus assist, which is sort of an edge enhancement thing, and it's all tunable. All these things are adjustable to the way that you like to view it. And there's even a zoom mode. And in the zoom mode, you're looking at the 4K image, just a window of it. And I can drag it around. It all works uh, on a touch screen, sort of like using a uh, tablet. And you can just drag that around. You can really, really judge very accurately the focus of your image and really see, you know, down to the pixel level, what you're getting on your recording. I can take this guy, I can put it up here, wherever I might need to, to work. So it's a very, very powerful uh, kit. Now, what comes in the package? There are two different packages. One comes with a lens, one comes without. So if you already have other glass that you might want to use. The camera, which is FS700 with its onboard microphone and its top handle and the hand grip. Uh, you get one kit that does have a lens, one kit that doesn't have the lens, the 18 to 200 motorized and integrated. Uh, the camera also comes with two NPF 970 batteries, that's the large size batteries for these cameras, as well as one of the smaller battery, the, uh, the 770 battery, and then a dual, dual bay charger so that you can quickly charge them up and you know, be able to continuously work with them. Very low power draw for these things, so you'll be able to get a full day of production out of that. The Odyssey 7Q comes with two of our SSDs, the 256 gig SSDs, as well as a battery plate to use the same batteries that the camera does, so that again, you don't have to have two different kind of battery systems going. And it even comes with this little thin SDI cable. And it's one of my little sort of pet peeves when you have these big thick cables that connect accessories together, and it's just stuff that gets, away in, in, gets in the way on a camera. So I just grabbed one to show you. This is a short one. It'll come with a three foot long cable. But this little cable is so versatile, and it's so small, and so it, gets, it stays out of your way, but it's incredibly flexible. And, and rugged as well, so you can even put a knot in it and you won't have anything happen to it. So it's nice to have in the kit. When you're on a camera, you want things really small and lightweight and easy to deal with. 
Then the Vocus stuff holds it all together. So again, it's the base plate with the integrated shoulder pad. It has some rosettes on it, so that if you need to mount other accessories, but it comes with the short rods for the back, long rods for the front, the rod adapter for the hand grip with an extension arm, so it's very positionable and adjust that how you want. Uh, then you have this rod mount for, and it's articulating arm for the Odyssey. And there's other mounting points for the arm. You can mount it on the, the there's a couple extra holes. So depending on what system you want to set up and where you're comfortable, or you can take the whole rod thing off and mount it up onto the top handle or mount it onto the front if you want to have that as your viewfinder. However, you might want to use all that. And then the whole thing fits inside one pretty small case. That's a nice roll away case. It just closes up Pelican style. And you have a complete shooting package that's really powerful. You're talking HD and 2K and 4K, and it's video or it's data. And you have an excellent monitor that's also your recorder. And you have high frame rates, and it's shoulder mountable, or you can use it on a tripod. You have a ver versatile zoom lens, or you can use your own lenses if you want. It's a really complete camera system. 